Hello, I'm James Sylvester from JPS Reliability and also from Reliability Maintenance Solutions Limited. Um, RMS are a representative and support Amazon Process Management in their condition monitoring offerings 2140s and the CSI online and wireless systems. And what we're going to go for today is um, the peak view technology. Just to highlight when peak view is used correctly, with a good setup, you can pick up the subsurface um, cracks. So this is early detection, hence why we got the screenshot of you know, the universe starting. So we're looking at where we can pick up subsurface hurts and cracks. So as the raw element goes round, we've got a slight bit in the load zone, we get plastic deformation where the grease also goes solid stops and now hitting the metal, but the ball bearing and the metal sort of flex a little bit. So you get under the subsurface, you get fatigue. So you can get subsurface fatigue. On this particular one was on a critical pump set in a plant room and it's a 110 kilowatt motor. So peak view, early detection. Now they got peak view, um, Amazon have got some unique processes in the way the technology works, which is unique to them which makes it why it works so well. Very basically, we've got analog high pass filter applied to the analog time waveform, part of the equalization. The bit which sets them apart is this bit here, is where it actually sample rate 102,400. So the analyzer is sampling so fast that it's gonna capture these very, very short, um, transient, minute shock pulses the bearing very very short pulse short duration really high frequency they're sampling really fast to capture it then they rectify it digitize it peak hole decimation which by the name peak view comes from where it holds a peak value and ensures the peak value is retained it gives you some really crisp clear data this here is a pump in question this is in the boiler plant so you get a pump couple in standard 110 kilowatt motor uh greasable bearings so this is a spectrum we had on site. So this is your peak view spectrum. Um, the values are low, and we can see we've got a harmonic family here. Uh, one good thing about the software is you tap the X key, it find harmonic families for you straight away. So once you've validated your data, confirmed your RPM, couple of clicks of keyboard, and, and you're deep in analysis. So we've got this activity here, and when you see down here what order it's at. So what is this harmonic family? We're doing an asset assessment. Is it to be of concern? Well, this is a motor on a variable speed drive. So we got the actual speed was tacked at 1196.3, 50 line hertz, max rated on four poles, 1500 RPM. So what we got to keep an eye out for is electrical firing frequency, two times the pulse drive frequency which can be noisy on some motors, especially if it's not got the best cables installed. So 50 divided by 1500, because it's 0.3 for recurring, times that by the actual speed, then times by two, because we've got north and south, gives us 79.75 hertz, which is this frequency here. So we can know that this here is not a bearing defect, it's your two times both frequency. And another great keyboard shortcut is D and G. So D removes what's one of the peaks and G brings it back. So if we decimate those peaks, underneath, you can see this beautiful little signature here. So we've got an exponentially decaying and it slightly increases there, a little bit on the floor. So we can say we've got an impact and a ring down. So there's something happening there is really, really low. So using the software, we've got the correct speed set up put the bearings in and we confirmed that this here is our array signal. So we're not seeing in velocity, we weren't seeing acceleration, this is purely in peak view. So we could say to them, this is a very, very early defect. That's our one order and harmonics. So they took it out because it was classed as super critical and they didn't want any risk of failure. That's the bearing. And then when we split the bearing here, so this is the lower half of the bearing. You can see how it gets wider there. So this is actually in the low zone of the bearing. And right in the low zone in the bearing down here, we've got this signal. This is this all shape. Um, so this dull bit here is a common mill voltage from the variable speed drive. It's just a pattern you often see them. 
but this is going to be the low zone of the bear, which is going to get all the subsurface fatigue. And under a microscope here, that, and here we can see cracks, subsurface cracks, and starting to lift. And you can even see here, all this bit here, that's the grinding marks when they made the bearing, which is this bit here. And we've got the dull path here with a couple of discharges from the rolling track. So this actually detected this. So that would have been in the deep load zone, subsurface fatigue and crack. So it does show you that the technology is pretty darn good. Um, now you can argue, did you want to find a subsurface crack or did they want to pull out and see the bearing falling apart, but we want about risk management. And this was a critical plant. So having the PV technology to pick up this defect in advance, which enables planning and control change out, it, it was perfect.